Hey everybody. <laughs> I'm back at home uh, for the weekend and the train board's a little too messy and I think a little too busy to do a model railroad video, but I figured I'd get a nice video in with the cat. So lo-fi video just on the iPhone. <laughs> Star of the show. Probably move the phone around a little bit to get better angles, but this is <laughs> just loving it. She loved the phone brushing up against it, using it as like a head scratcher. But <clears throat> this is my cat Gigi. <laughs> She's been the star of a couple videos before, but oh, look at you. She just loves the attention. Okay. She doesn't know what a phone is, though. She doesn't recognize people on the phone and FaceTime and stuff. But <clears throat> I guess to. She doesn't meow too much either. She'll meow when she wants to and wants to get attention, but when she's getting the attention, she won't. She doesn't like her stomach rubbed, which is, you know, unique. Look at her. Isn't she just a princess? I guess a little bit about her. She's, shoot, she's like 14 now. She's an old dog. Or old cat, I suppose. She's a mix of something, but mostly Maine Coon. Sorry, I'm still a bit stuffed in the head, so I might be sniffing a little bit. Hello. Mostly Maine Coon. Uh, we think she has a little bit of OCD. Because she bathes herself like there's no tomorrow. She loves her chin scratches. Sometimes I can get her, if I scratch the right spot, get it so, yeah, her leg starts going. She loves that stuff. And what made her stand out when we got her from the animal shelter was her little white socks she's got on. Got white paws on the front, but it's more pronounced on her back feet. They look like tube socks almost. <clears throat> I don't know if you can really hear the scratches, but or if she's purring. Let's see. Get nice and close. Kind of hear her purring, but isn't she just the cutest? So she's nice and old now, and 14. I've had her, or my mom's had her. We've had her for most of my life. Uh, got her when her other cat at the time was getting older. Wanted another cat, needed another friend. And then when that cat passed, we got Gigi here. And then a year or two later, we got our another cat, Smokey, which was our black cat who passed away about a year and a half ago now, in the summer of 22. He was a big, fat, black cat. And they were good friends, weren't you? Oh, look at you. And now that I've moved out, for my full-time job and my brother's in college most of the year, a couple states away. Uh, my mom isn't quick on getting another cat to replace our black cat, Smokey, which is where my YouTube channel name kind of originates from. She's, she's just laying there dead, right? Shocked. Uh, but yeah, my mom isn't too quick on getting another cat. And she says that she's done after Gigi goes. 
but me and my brother don't believe that. <laughs> she needs some company. Oh, Gigi's walking over. She's exploring the other part of the table. Come here, Gigi. Is that you? Who is it? She just loves those chin scratches. She is uh, having old age issues lately in the past few years. We think she's starting to see things or her eyes are going. <clears throat> and she's just getting kind of goofy. She hates having her feet touched. That's been an all her life thing though. And She's, uh, I might have given herself CTE over the years. Because, uh, she'll just... <laughs> Every time she does, she gets up close to the camera like that, she's going like that with, with the camera, using it to scratch her chin. But yeah, we think she's given herself CTE over the years because she'll, like table legs down here and the chair legs and all that and just about every corner when she wants her head scratched a little bit she'll just like bonk up against it real hard oh am I talking bad about you she's giving me the cold shoulder I've got a bunch of hair on my face now there we go she's back but yeah she'll do kind of like that but a little bit harder and uh not so much on a flat surface. <laughs> Look at her. Yeah, so not so much a sounds video, I guess, but more of a talking about Gigi and having her in the video. <laughs> she doesn't make much sound until 3 a.m. when she needs attention. She just sits in the hallway and meows her heart out. Gigi. Oh, yep. Yeah. So this is the OCD. She'll just bathe every time you touch her. Oh. She has been uh, having the issue lately of hairballs and throwing up more often. Not sure why. She has lost weight, not quickly, just slowly over the... <laughs> Got a lot of hair everywhere. <laughs> Gonna make me sneeze. She has been slowly losing weight over the years. She doesn't look too much different, but she feels a lot skinnier than she used to. Gigi. Sometimes you can get her to stand over. Put her two front paws on the chair. And, oh, look at you. She's, she's hugging the chair. Oh. And of course, like every cat, she loves catnip. We've got her, oh, there she goes, ran off into the dining room. We've got her, I wonder where they went, oh, they're in here. We've got her a couple different treat bags that she likes. She usually, we usually have always fed her wet food, wet cat food, but over the last couple of years to get her to try to eat more, I've given her these cat treats. So this one's like a tuna treat. You can see she's already back interested. And my favorite is, not that I've eaten them, my favorite to give her is this catnip one. It's got some catnip on it. And we used to have one that's chicken, but I wonder if, and we don't have that anymore. I wonder if that was the one that mom always loved to give her. So let's give her some catnip ones today. And we have this brush. She's not as huge of a fan of getting brushed as Smokey was. She's excited. I'm going to open this up real quick. They say they're two calories or under two calories per treat. I wish I could flip the camera on the iPhone. I can't during recording flip to the front camera. So, Gigi, back here, Gigi. This is a uh, her food bowl area. She's kind of a mess when she eats. 
let's get some of these. Yeah, kind of an awkward camera angle, but we'll see if she gets a little high over the next few minutes here. We're just, today, me and my mom are just going to be uh, taking down the Christmas trees and everything. She's gotten them all undecorated, uh, unlit and everything, but since I'm home this weekend, I'll be able to help her lift them and put them in the boxes and in the attic and all that. But Gigi has devoured her treats. And is now on the move probably to uh, go fall asleep. The sun kind of hits some of the different spots in the house at different times real nice and makes the area really warm. So Gigi likes to fall asleep there and take a little sun nap and sunbathe. She's in one of those spots right now oh, we got this is the this is a christmas tree <clears throat> in parts that were taken apart but i think Gigi's gonna lay under it one last time for the year she loves laying under it we took the skirt out already because undecorated everything but she's off in the corner bathing now i'll let her relax after the nice little treat but yeah just kind of a fun little hangout video Hope you enjoyed getting to meet Gigi a little bit more. She wasn't too talkative today or anything, but she was very messy. She got hair all over the place. We let her get up on the table because we don't use the table much, to be honest, since it's just mom here usually. But yeah, so thanks for, uh, thanks for meeting Gigi and I'll see you all later. Peace out.